Hello, thank you for joining me. This is a short presentation to cover the differences in the UK amateur radio call signs. My name is Mike Lewis and my call sign is M0XMX. The information you are about to see is correct to the best of my knowledge and as of June 2020. The aim of this video is to give you a background into the UK amateur radio call signs and to illustrate the current format of the call sign structure and explain the basic differences in call signs. Let's start off by taking a look at where is the UK. As you can see, the UK is on the western side of mainland Europe and consists primarily of four countries, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Additionally, in terms of UK call signs, we also consider Jersey, Guernsey, and the Isle of Man separately. Northern Ireland is shown here in red. Southern Ireland, which is part of the EU, is green. UK call sign prefixes are determined by the ITU, the International Telecommunications Union. In the UK, all call signs begin with either G, M or the number 2. Additional characters are used in the call sign to identify the region or country within the UK where your signal is transmitted from. This is to be placed after the primary identifier, G, M or the number 2. The exception being stations in England that do not need to use the secondary or regional identifier except intermediate call signs where it is always used. When Ofcom issue the license, it will show a call sign with the hash character identifying where the regional secondary locator character should go. For example, M hash zero X X X or two hash zero X X X. UK regional secondary locators are as follows. England, where required, is an E, but typically none is required. Scotland is an M, Northern Ireland an I, Wales a W, Jersey is a J, Guernsey a U, and the Isle of Man is a D. Here are some examples of when the regional secondary locator is used. M0XMX transmitting from Wales becomes MW0XMX. 2E0EZG transmitting from Jersey becomes 2J0EZG. Mike Mike 6 Oscar Mike Lima transmitting from England becomes Mike 6 Oscar Mike Lima. 2 India 1 Hotel Whiskey Echo transmitting from England becomes 2 Echo 1 Hotel Whiskey Echo. And GU 8 XYZ transmitting from the Isle of Man becomes GD 8 XYZ. In 1946, the RAE or Radio Amateur Examination was introduced. Prior to 1964, there was a single licence that then became the Class A and Class B licences. A typical call sign would be Golf Number Alpha 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 and the number would be a number between 0 and 8. From 2002 to current date it became three levels, the Foundation, the Intermediate and the full license. In essence, the main differences between the free licenses is the foundation license is limited to 10 watts on most of its allocated bands and band allocations are limited. The intermediate license, however, is restricted to a maximum of 50 watts on most of its bands the full licence can transmit at full legal UK power per band on all of the bands in the UK. In January 2002, the foundation licence was launched. 2002 to 2008, the licence granted would be an M3 licence, followed by three letters. 
From 2008 to 2018, the license became an M6 license with three letters. And then in October 2018, that was superseded by the M7 call sign with three letters. The intermediate license started out life as the novice license. It was issued from 1991 through 2001 as the two hash one plus three letters license, which denoted a novice class B, which gave the holder the ability to transmit on the novice allocations above 30 megahertz. Additionally, a novice class A license of the same was issued with the call sign 2 hash 0 plus three letters. This later became the intermediate license level from October 2001. The current full license system dates back to 2003 when it replaced the RAE class A and B license system. Until then, it was normal to see call signs from the UK in the format like Golf 3 plus two or three letters. The M1 license plus three letters was introduced in 1996 until 2003, which was a class B license. The M5 plus three letters ran to 2001, which was a class AB license and currently still in place, M0 plus three letters started in 1996 until 2003, when it was changed to become the full license. Going back in time, you will see how the RAE license call signs have evolved. Over the years, they have gone from G2 with two letters, up through G4, 5, 6, 8, G1, G0, the list goes on. And as you can see here, typically by looking at a call sign, you can work out when it was issued and what class it was. Additionally, when you hear G call signs from the UK, they could be special call signs for repeaters, beacons, data repeaters, data mailboxes, and even special event stations. So there we are. I hope that was an interesting presentation and I hope you found it useful. If you have enjoyed this video, maybe you'd like to subscribe and see some of the other ones. Please remember, it's not the class of the license that the operator holds, but the class of the operator that holds the license. Thanks for watching. 7-3.